I'm Kaito Funaki. I got this little brother and... My parents loved him very much, but they rarely paid attention to me. They always played favorites. My parents owned this big liquor shop in my hometown. We're giving this store to Kazuma. You just stay out of his way, got it? Yeah, don't even think about going to college. We don't have the money. Get a job after high school. But my brother started going to this expensive cram school to prepare for college entrance exams as soon as he started high school. It wasn't that they didn't have the money to send me to college. They just didn't want to spend any money on me. So, you're not thinking about college? Your parents are okay with this? I guess. Oh, okay. Well, you're so smart, I thought you'd be going off to college. But if you want to start working right away, that's fine too. We could certainly help you with that as well. We still got time, so we'll figure it out. Thanks. Um, if possible, I want to work away from home. A living job might be nice. I wanted to get out of that house as soon as possible. Then, after months of looking, I found an opening at this hot spring resort far away from home. Nobody's gonna even say goodbye to me. Whatever. They don't care about me. <gasps> huh? Aren't you Kazuma's brother? Oh, don't worry about him, Akari. You'll never see him again, so... Huh? Why? Bye. So I grabbed my bags, hopped on a train, and left home to start a new life. Hello! Nice to meet you! Thank you for hiring me! I look forward to working with you! Ah, welcome! Thanks for coming all this way. You're a long way from home. If you need anything, just ask, okay? It's pretty cold here, so try not to catch a cold. You should get some rest. Oh, uh, thank you! This is my new life now. I'm gonna do my best! I was eager to get started. But then a week later, I got a fever. I'm so sorry. I'm such an idiot. Oh, stop it. You are pushing yourself too hard. I know how hard you've been working, dear. You were up late every night. Huh? You thought I didn't know? I'm sorry. I should have taken better care of myself. Why are you trying so hard? You're afraid of making a mistake? Yeah, I don't want to mess this up, you know? I... You think too much. We all make mistakes, dear. Keep your head up, dear. Just try and learn from your mistakes and you'll be fine. Take your time, dear. Work hard during the day and get some rest after your shift is over. Thank you. I will. Ah, hey. Are you here to see Funaki? Yeah. He's not the first person who came here looking for a living job, but he's been pushing himself a lot lately. Yeah, I agree. Maybe he has nowhere else to go. Maybe. Oh boy. We better keep our eyes on him. I was back on my feet a few days later. I started working harder than ever. Ah, very good. Great job. You're really good with your hands. Really? Yeah. I'm really glad you came here. I... I feel the same way. I love working here. The owners were really nice to me. I love them very much. Nobody's ever been this nice to me before, so... It was a nice feeling. I never told them about my family, and they never asked either. They probably knew that something was up, but they respected my privacy. Five years later, I was still working at the hotel. The owner helped me get my chef's license. I even got a license to play Fugu recently. I was an essential member of the team now. Check it out, guys. Wow, look at all that fish. Great job, Siori. I thought you had the day off today. You should be home, resting. But I love fish, so... You should cook them while they're fresh. I guess you're right. Funaki, change of plans. For dinner, let's use these instead. Roger that! Tell the guests that the future manager of this hotel caught them herself. I'm gonna go talk to mom. Go home!
home. <laughs> uh, I wonder if she'll ever get married. Wait, I know. Maybe you can marry her, Funaki. What? Her name was Siori. She was the owner's daughter. She was always so full of energy. I kind of liked her, but I wasn't ready to start a relationship. Because if I do, she'll probably ask me about my family, so... Anyways, I really enjoyed working here. And we were getting more guests every year. Business was good. We were constantly busy. But then one day, it was my day off that day. I had nothing to do, so I was helping them clean the garden. Kaito? Huh, are you the janitor or something? I can't believe it's you. Damn, you are still alive? Who is this, your brother? Ah, uh, Yuriko, don't worry about him, he's nobody. What do you mean, isn't he your brother? He left home right after high school. He's not even family anymore, so don't worry about him. Uh, hold on. You told me Kazuma was an only child. You lied to me? Why would you do that? Look, he's the one that left us. And he was already 18 at the time, so... Yeah. He was a grown man. It's none of our business. We've never told him to leave or anything. But still, you lied to me. And why are you so cold to him? He's family. I need to take some time to think. Wait! Dude, what the hell? That was my fiance! Now she might leave me! This is your fault! I never would have come here if I knew you worked here! Yeah! If she doesn't marry her, our business is gonna go under! Our family is loaded, and they're willing to help us! Yeah, go talk to her right now! Huh? Why me? Everything okay? Fire him! Why did you hire him anyways? He's useless. Uh, you're the Fukunakis, right? Wait, are you his parents? I get it. It all makes sense now. You were running away from them, weren't you? He's been with us for seven years now. He's like a real son to me. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, and how could you treat your own son like this? What is wrong with you two? I knew it. Yuriko? I met her in the front yard. She told me about your brother. Seems like a really nice person. Why would you treat him like this? I'm through with you. I want nothing to do with you or your family. I'm leaving. Goodbye. No way! Okay, he's my son, but so what? I can't love both of them equally. They're completely different people, and he was useless. Wow, do you even hear yourself? You're unbelievable! All of you! The marriage is off! Don't ever show your face in front of me again! Kazuma and my parents paid the cancellation fee and went home. They were devastated. I didn't know what to think for a while, but... Siori and her parents were there to support me. I never told them about my family because I didn't know what they would think, but... I guess I had nothing to worry about. Thanks for calling, Hota Sekifushi. Sayori speaking. Uh, is Kaito Funaki there? Um, who is this? I'm his mother. Uh, what are you calling about? Um, could you tell him that we need help? Kazuma's fiance was supposed to save our business, but she's gone now, so... Kazuma's a shut-in now. My husband and I both work, but we're going to go bankrupt soon. We really need help. And all of this is his fault. He has to make it right. Tell him to come home. Are you insane? Kaito and I are married now. He says he's cutting all ties with you. He said you guys were dead to him. Don't ever call him again. What? How could he be so selfish? Selfish? Look who's talking. He means the world to me. Don't ever come near him again. Siori actually asked me to marry her a few times, but... I was worried about what my family would do, so I couldn't say yes. But then she suggested that I cut all ties with them. So I did. It was time to put them behind me and move on with my life. It was such a relief, too. For the first time in my life, I felt free. It was a rough couple of years, but glad everything worked out. 
Sensei took him in with open arms and helped him get his life back together. How sweet! And now they're a real family. I'm so happy for them. Glad everything worked out for them. What did you guys think of today's story? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.